If you build it, they will come. A saying wildlife biologist Tori Ritter hopes will ring true from a project using a little human intervention to entice nature's engineers. What they're doing out here is they're basically, they're creating what are called beaver habitat structures. So by building these stronger dams, it kind of props up the beavers, gives them strong enough dams that they can withstand runoff and the beavers have a chance to get going, build more dams, build on top of these structures and basically create a much stronger set of dams and a stronger colony. Wildlife managers know beavers are great environmental engineers whose work can benefit humans and wildlife. We're starting to learn historically that this is not how streams were supposed to look. And I think now we're facing, you know, the, a changing climate. We're losing our water resources. We're having a lot worse drought. And people are starting to look for how can we store more water in headwater streams so that we have water later in the summer. And beavers just, just kind of, that's what they do. Persuading beavers to create healthy watersheds can save time and money. So this is a really good way to allow beavers to expand into an area and not just get there and, and build a colony, but actually have it be successful and expand over time and bring about those restoration benefits we want. Recently, Ritter visited last fall's project to see if beavers were active in the area. And less than a year later, success. That's really the low hanging fruit for beaver. This beaver restoration revolution is using some sort of mimicry to get beavers to expand on their own because they're way better at building dams and creating great habitat than any human ever will be. I'm Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.